It's been an amazing week in the house of Anubis. What is a strange liquid that Victor's been drinking down in the basement? And what's happened to the mysterious cat? What does Victor want with Rufus? And will Mick and Amber ever get back together? One thing's for certain, I'm Jamie Rickers. And I'm Anna Williamson. And with the help of these guys... This is... Anubis, Anubis Unlocked. Unlocked. Welcome to Anubis Unlocked, your one-stop shop for all the action in the most infamous boarding school in Britain. That's right. We are here on the actual set of the House of Anubis, bringing you guys up close and personal with a gossip and exclusive. So close you'll even be able to taste Trudy's new perfume. Mmm, nice. Now, don't go anywhere because we have the all-star cast standing by waiting for your questions. There they are in the living room, looking very, very gorgeous. Plus, of course, we want your thoughts and theories, in fact, your predictions for the future. So together we can unlock the mysteries of the House of Anubis. So, a busy week in the House of Anubis as Nina finally gets the hang of how to tell the time. Daytime ends at midday. Amber looks after a poorly hot water bottle. Patricia gets a text from a supernatural date. You know that ghost I keep seeing? Amber's surprised by her own pop. <laughs> and has anyone seen my sample for the doctors? Don't! You don't know what's in it. Yes, we do. On that note, it's time to get an audience with the cast. Hey, guys. So, now it's your turn to put the microscope on us while we answer some of your questions from home. Laura asks, do you ever get scared filming scenes in the basement? I don't think any of us ever really get scared filming the scenes in the basement yet. I mean, it's mainly because we're surrounded by the lighting guys and the camera guys and all the cast and crew, so you never feel alone. So, I mean, and I'm, like, really hard, so I never get scared. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sophie has a question, so take a look at this. Was it fun filming scenes with the cat? It was actually quite difficult because the cat never really did what it was supposed to do. Like, do you guys remember that time when we had to stay late because no one could find the and cat? It, it got ran lost away. For hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rob asks, what's the best thing about filming House of Anubis? I'd say the best thing would have to be um, all the cast and crew were really cool. It makes um, the day really enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony has got this to say. Eugene. Are you as badly behaved as Jerome in real life? No, I'd be lying if I said I was that badly behaved, but I, on occasion, have been able to pull quite a few pranks, particularly on Bobby, when I convinced him that I was psychic. I managed to convince <laughs> him I can read any number that, it is, that is in his head. So I spent several days laughing at him, and then finally I told him the truth. I'm not psychic, Bobby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aww. It was embarrassing, OK? It wasn't fun. <laughs> Steve from Carlisle, he wants to know, um, is Victor scary in real life? Is Victor scary in real life? Definitely. He... Yes. No. Yes, I mean, although he's acting, have you seen his beard? It's, no. it's just creepy. Right. And now a question from Paige. Are you good at solving mysteries in real life? Uh, I don't think I am. I don't think I'm good at solving mysteries. <laughs> uh, when I see all the clues in the script, I, like, genuinely don't know what they mean. <laughs> and I don't know where Joy is. Like, really, where is she? Well, we're going to find out, hopefully. <laughs> well, if the cast don't even know what's happened to Joy, that just leaves us to work it out. It certainly does. And with the plot thickening and the mystery deepening, everyone, and I do mean everyone, seems to have an opinion on what is going on in the house of Anubis. What is it with a cat that Nina and Amber found? I think the cat's been sent by Sarah some kind of clue to help them. Amber needs to keep that cat away from Rufus. I think it was just Victor's pet, but he doesn't want to admit he has a cat. I don't know, but I hope Victor doesn't get his hands on it. Victor's clearly after the cat. That's where he got the scratches from. I think Victor has turned Joy into the cat. Maybe Victor turned into the cat by drinking the potion just so he could spy on the Sabuna gang. You can trust me, Nina. Does Fabian fancy Nina? Of course he does. I don't think Nina fancies him back, though. Yeah, blatantly. 
He gets really nervous around her. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's just being friendly because she's new. Definitely. Fabian is crushing hard on Nina. I think he does, but I think he'd get on better with Mara. He clearly fancies Nina, but does she fancy him back? Of course. It's obvious, isn't it? I don't think so. They're just friends, and he's being nice because she's new. Now, he looks nice enough, but can we actually trust Rufus? I think the guy should trust Rufus. He's the only one who can help find joy. Mm, I wouldn't let Rufus get his hands on Nina's locket. Anyone with that nickname, the betrayer? Bad news, right? I think Rufus is bad, but not as bad as Victor. I'm not sure we'll see Rufus again now that Victor has found him. Surely, if Victor doesn't like him, he must be on our side, right? What was Victor drinking? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I'm not sure he's a bad guy. Maybe it was just medicine. I'm worried it has something to do with all those stuffed animals he has. I think he's building up his immunity to some kind of poison, but I don't know why. Maybe it's to calm him down. He does get very angry sometimes. Great thoughts and predictions there, guys. However, I wonder if any of them are correct. Well, we're just going to have to keep watching to find out the truth. Right now, though, it's time to take a closer look and see how the gang get on making the House of Anubis. <laughs> Are you enjoying watching this scene? <laughs> we just joke around so much. I mean, the cast, the crew, we're, we're all like a big family now. Sorry, just coming through. Normal stuff happening now. <laughs> the funniest thing that happened on set was Jade, who plays Patricia. She has a twin sister. Exactly the same. And we dressed her up in the uniform. So bizarre. And sent her on set to see if anyone would notice that it wasn't Jade. The crew and the first AD kind of was just saying, what's wrong with Jade? Why is she not talking? And they realized that it was her twin. Identical. <laughs> yeah, they're identical. Yeah. It was like twin. two Patricia. <laughs> Where's Joy? Where's Joy? Yeah, we're always kind of messing with each other. Hello, my Lovely. name is Anna. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Hello, oh. I'm Natalia. I don't sound like that. I don't sound like that. <laughs> this is not a laughing matter. Do you know what? It's a wonder you guys actually get any filming done. Absolutely. <laughs> well, hard work of another sort now, as it's time for Bobby to take on Taisy in a game we like to call the House of Anubis Photo Fit. Right, guys, now, on the wall behind you are the parts of some very famous characters from the House of Anubis. All you've got to do is put your person uh, back together before your castmate. Now, Bobby, you're going to be doing Nina, and Taisy, uh, you're going to be doing Fabian. Now, you have until the sands run out, and then I want to hear a pin drop. So, three, two, one, <laughs> go! Go, 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 go! Bobby. Bobby. Don't let me down, Bobby! Casey, get inside! Come on! Do you know what? I'll give that to you. Pipped at the post. It was we very were close. It was very close. They had a beautiful Fabian, a beautiful Natalia there. Well done, well Lovely. done, well done. Now, <laughs> from puzzles we can solve to puzzles that are a bit more tricky, it's time for another clue for the House of Anubis from... Olena Aliba Rotseris. Now listen up and lend me your ear. Only with thought will my riddle become clear. Numbers of which there are many. A clue? Do you have any? Well, you should not fear, for they are the dates of a year. Now go and use the information you have wisely. Until next week. <laughs> Any the wiser? Not a clue. No, we'll find out if you solve the clue by catching up with more from the House of Anubis. Can't wait? Well, then feast your eyes on this little lot. What's going on? I think you need to ask Victor that. Well, it all sounds totally far-fetched to me. But as soon as you see all the weird stuff in that cellar, you'll realise we're telling the truth. You lot wouldn't know the truth if it jumped up and hit you in the eye. Perhaps you could just put all this behind us by popping down to the cellar and taking a peek. It's all getting too much, can't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, remember, the House of Anubis is always open online at nick.co.uk slash Anubis. Let us know what you think is going to happen on the message boards. And play our amazing House of Anubis game, The Secrets Within. Now, remember, you can catch up with the House of Anubis Omnibus every Saturday and Sunday. And please do join us next week for more Anubis Unlocked. Until then, Sabuna. Sabuna.